All right, guys, so we're back on the business tracker and uh, sometimes we have those clients that we uh, actually don't end up closing deals with. So we wanna kill, still keep them in our database. So we've got Samantha Peters here. So if I click over to database, just to remind you, Samantha Peters is still there. But unfortunately, uh, she decided to not uh, go ahead and, and buy this property with me. So I don't, uh, I don't want to track this as a closed deal. I wanna remove Samantha from my pipeline. I wanna keep her in my database, but remove her from pipeline. So if I click on these three dots, I go down to remove deal. And you'll see that I have two options. I can delete the deal forever, meaning the system won't track anything, or I can archive it as a lost deal. Now you would might wanna do this if you wanna track how many of your deals that come into the business tracker actually end up in closed sales, uh, or if you just wanna keep track of all of your progress. So if I go ahead and I archive that as a lost deal, you'll notice that a couple things have happened. Number one, she's disappeared from my business tracker, so that's fine. If we go back to database though, her client information is still there. So everything about her is still there. That's totally fine. It even says that I've done a deal with her. And if I go over to the deals tab, you'll see that in here, it's still logging it as a deal, but it's telling me that I lost her at the active stage as a buyer and in the price point of 500,000. So you can start to build out the history that you've uh, conducted with your clients over time by just simply putting them through the tracker and whether you win or lose the deal, uh, you can track that either way. Hopefully this doesn't happen often, but we've built it so you can capture that function if you need to.